Hey there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on drawing random numbers with a continuous distribution in Stata. Isn't that a mouthful? Well, let's set about our exciting task today. Um, I want to do so with the draw norm code here, which is the command in Stata to draw the variable from a normal distribution. I have set my observations to 5,000 and that's just an arbitrarily chosen number and I've set my X mean to 5 and my Y mean to 9 you see how those match up there and the same with standard deviation so the X standard deviation is 3 the Y standard deviation is 4 uh, let's have a quick look and we see through the magic of Stata that we have in fact created 5,000 variables and uh, populated them with these random numbers um, why don't we have a look at a histogram and this will show you this is X by the way you'll you'll see a very very classic bell shape here so we have a very Gaussian distribution and that shows you that we have in fact created a normally distributed variable and we can test that through the Shapiro Wilk test uh, for each of these variables you can see here that the assumption of normality is met um, now what were to what would happen if we were to not specify our mean and standard deviation let's say that I create a new variable Z without explaining what I want it to be well notice that the default in Stata is a mean of 0 if you don't specify and a standard deviation of just about 1 so uh, unless you have a specific reason uh, to have a specific mean and standard deviation you can always just draw use the draw norm command here and just type in the variable that you would like to create uh, finally I would like to show you a matrix approach to carrying out the same task and I want to show you my code as we go uh, I've created a matrix M with values of 5 and 9 uh, matrix for standard deviations 3 and 4 and you'll notice that these are really the same codes that I used up here in this way of doing it and uh, next I use the draw norm function uh, I used n 5000 so instead of setting my observations right at the beginning with set OBS I could just also specify them here uh, and then I use this listing and I pretty much achieved the same task that I did with the earlier code this way Anyway, I hope that was useful to you. Uh, random number generation can be pretty useful for a lot of different statistical testing needs. And because status functions are so rich here, you don't need to go to random.org or another site or approach to get your random numbers if you want them distributed um, normally. I do encourage you to go to 272analytics.com for additional tutorials on all kinds of procedures in Stata, SPSS, R, and other software programs. And I also encourage you to utilize our consulting services for dissertations, theses, or really any kind of academic work with a data analysis component for which you need consulting assistance and uh, analysis. Thank you so much and have a great day.